Hi, and thanks for watching this video on the new features of Excel Cube version 8. This time we're going to be looking at workbook slicers. This new feature allows slicers easily to be shared across sheets in a report so that common selections can be made. We'll start with an existing multi-sheet report and that's what we're going to add the slicers to. So first I'll bring up the workbook slicers pane and obviously initially it's going to be empty so we'll add some slicers. So the first one I'm going to do is to add a selection for the dates. And here I'm going to allow us to pick from the years. And the second one I'll do is for sales channels. And here I'll allow us to pick through any of the channels. And just like with a normal slicer, I can resize the controls so that the text fits and they look nice. Next, I'll link these slicers to the report. Firstly, the tree map. And here I'm just going to link it to the header area of the tree map. So for the dates, I just pick the workbook slicer for the year. And for sales channel, I pick this slicer. And secondly, I'm going to now link it up to this trend chart. So here the sales channel is just going to be a simple link because it's in the header area. And for the dates, I'm going to pick the year from the slicer and I'm going to have the months inside that year. As you can see, now I've picked the selections in the slicers and the report updates. So this is just what we'd expect. Uh, for this report, I think that perhaps the slicers might look better across the top. And for that, I can just drag the slicer pane and I can dock it to the top of the workbook. And I can then go in and resize the pane and again, resize the slicers to make them look good. Okay, now I've hooked up that sheet, I'll hook it up to another sheet. So if I switch across, we can see I've got another part of the report here. And for this chart, I'm going to hook up the date selection. So again, I just go in and pick the slicer. Now for this particular sheet, the sales channel doesn't apply. So I'll like to hide that. So what I can do is go to the edit layout option. And here I can choose that particular slicer and say that for this sheet, it's not visible. And while I'm here, I can also pick a background color for my slicer pane. So now as I switch sheets, we can see the sales channel slicer appears and vanishes depending on what we've set. And if I'm happy, I can turn off the design options to hide those buttons. Now, obviously I could go through adding more slicers and assigning them to the different sheets, but to save time, I've got a finished version, which we can open up here. Okay, now as you can see, as we go through the sheets, we've got different slicers appearing for the different selection options. And I can just publish that to the web. Okay, and when that's done, I can now just switch to my browser. And if I open the report, you'll see that the workbook slicer appears at the top where we put it. And also I can change the selections. And again, we can go through and make various selections on all the different sheets and the appropriate slicer that's seen. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you'll watch some more of our demos in the future. Thanks.